to every meal that I meet in life, my father is the standard, who unfortunately I'm not allowed to see, as you demanded. So here I am, without the guidance of a father as I trek through this cold world, sometimes the vein of being the strong woman hides the pain of a little girl. Our guest today is a dynamic young woman who turned the pain of losing her dad into an inspiring message of hope. Please welcome Haley Smith. Welcome. Thank you, Ryan. Yes, and of course, Charles Bronson, who wrote the song, I Miss My Daddy. Hello. All right, hi. So Haley, it really struck me that you, just a few short weeks after losing your father, you went on the Apollo and you were able to perform. Where did you get that strength from? My dad, he always wanted me to perform, so for me to not like do that for him, it was like, it was for you know for you to do that for him. It was kind of a way to honor him. Yes, it went on him. So I still went on stage to perform for him. Right. Wow. And so, when you were performing, did you expect to win? No, I didn't. I thought it was a low possibility. Really me winning? Yeah. But you did win, and then yeah. how did you feel when that happened? I was happy. I was really happy. Like I was excited. Wow. Okay. So, uh, Charles, you you wrote this song called "I Miss My Daddy." and you actually got Haley to be involved in it. Talk about the lyrics, because the lyrics are very, very powerful to the song. Talk about that for a second. Well, yeah, I, I crafted the lyrics together, but I don't want to minimize Haley's input because mm -hmm. I got a chance to become knowledgeable with some of the conversations that Haley had with some of her friends. And it turned out that a lot of girls were going through this thing where they, their fathers weren't in their lives. The irony of the situation was that Haley's father had just passed. So it was real awkward and kind of sensitive. You know, the, the, even the title of the song, when I brought it to her. Mm -hmm. But I knew that having her tell that side of the story, it would bring a whole different dynamic to that whole situation where people who normally wouldn't listen to that situation, they would now listen and embrace it coming from her. Right. But the thing is, before I was able to put the lyrics together, I had to get everything that they felt. I had to put that right sentiment down. Okay. So then I would write stuff and I'd be like, Haley, how's that? She was like, nah, nah, nah. Wow. You know, because so it was, it was it, probably, okay. you know, getting into the man's angle of it. Right. And I didn't want it to be that. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be exactly how the girls felt. Right. You know, listening to what they said. Mm -hmm. So after I wrote everything out and he was just going back and forth with it and I handled, handed it to her and she looked at it and she read it and she said, you That's like it, you I like said, the okay, Haley? Here we go. Wow. Okay. So, what was it like for you, Haley, kind of like performing in that that video? I mean, it was good because I was able to like, I wouldn't say really feel how the girls felt of not having a relationship with their father, but have some sense about how they felt. So it was like good from being in that perspective. Right. Yeah, she got a chance to show off her acting. She, Which was very she good. She went by there. The way. She channeled everything her friends was telling her, and she became that girl. You did. You were very good. I was like, wow, okay, you do have some, you know, do you want to act? Cause you, yeah, you I got, do. Oh, okay, <laughs> see, and I saw that you were dancing another another video. You, you're you like a triple threat. <laughs> I see. It's, it's, it's true, it's true. So I know there's a point in the song, because again, going back to the lyrics, where you, and I, I really want to say this, you said, um, if he's a liar, a cheat, and a phony, these are traits he won't be able to disguise making it easier for me to recognize when I'm approached by guys. It sounds like you also have a message for the mothers as well. So what, what is Yeah, that? yeah, because, I mean, not only do young boys have to face those situations where, where the father's not in the picture and the mother is upset with the father and she starts telling them, your father ain't, or your father is that. Girls go through it too. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I was like, okay, one of the benefits of a situation like if, if the girl can have her relationship with her father, she can get a chance to see everything the mother was talking about. Mm -hmm. right. If he wasn't what she says right. that he was. Right. You know what I mean? She'd right. get a chance to see it for herself. Rather than tell the, the child, oh, well, yeah, you can't spend time with him because he never shows up to pick you up to go out anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, let her live it. So okay. yeah, you can spend time okay. with him. And then when he calls and says, I'm coming to pick you up at four o'clock, let her see that he doesn't show up at four. So she, Instead she could, of trying to like shield right. her from all of that. Yeah, you know, she could form of, like, her own opinion. Right. So that, that's what that was all about. 
are you guys working on anything else together that we should be looking out for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to shoot the second, well, it's not really the second part, but we did a, a, a spinoff song mm -hmm. from I Miss My Daddy called We're Going to Be All Right. It's like where it picks up from where we, uh, oh, I Miss yeah. My Daddy left Okay, off. yeah. All right. That's going to be on the EP that's going to be released later this month. And we're going to shoot a remix version of that We're Going to Be Alright song. The concept totally changed. It's a fun, happy song. Yeah. It's called The Barbecue okay. Mix. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Barbecue Mix sounds fun already. Yeah. Haley, Chad, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for sharing that, that story with us. Thank you for having me. And yeah, yeah, and we will be right back with more What's the 411.